welcome to this session. This session we are going to give examples on application of Cauchy integral formulas. So first example. Evaluate the integral So e raised power z into z squared divided by z minus one squared dz, where c is a circle of radius two. So to evaluate this problem, first thing you have to note whether the point of preference is within the circle or outside the circle. If the point is within or on the circle, then we use the uh, Cauchy integral formulas. If the point is outside the circle, then the integral will be zero. So uh, recall that. Cauchy integral formula is m to the derivative of a function at a point A is n factorial over 2 pi i integral along C f of z z minus a power n plus one and then dz. So if we relate this to what we have, so then remember the condition is that this a must be a point within c or on c. So from our problem, our a so let's let what we have with the integ uh, our integral and what is in the general form. So if you let this two, then you see clearly that f of z is e raised power z z squared plus one. And then our A, to get A, just let the denominator and this other denominator so that comes out clearly. So I have, if you say z minus A for n plus one, you relate it to z minus one power two, then clearly z minus a is equal to z minus one. So a equals to one. And then n plus one, these powers should be the same, equals to two. So n equals two, two minus one. So n is one. And since the point z equals to one lies within the circle. C, because remember the circle C is a circle centered at the origin with radius two. So if you are to draw that circle, this is zero. So this is one, this is two, this is negative one, this is negative two. So the point one is within this circle. So it means that then we can apply this formula. Then 
we apply, so let's call this one the formula one. We apply one. So uh, this we replace, so uh, remember the same, same formula one can be written as the integral along C, F of Z over Z minus A power N plus one dz equals two. Now you multiply both sides by two pi i, then divide by n factorial, and then n to the derivative at a. So they are the same form as one. So our case, we have f of z. So let's just write our integral. So integral f of z is e raised power z, z squared plus one divided by z minus one power two dz will be. So from our calculation, we have two pi i, n is one, and then the first derivative at one, also the value of a is one, replacing here. So derivative of this function, you let this one to be u, this one to be v. So u prime v plus v prime u. u prime is e raised to our z times v, z squared plus one plus v prime. If you get this part, you get two z times u, you get e raised to our z. So therefore, uh, of answer will be two pi i one factor just one so into e raised power we are replacing with the z by one one into one squared plus one replacing here plus two into one by the z e raised power one so that we'll have two pi i into v1 squared plus one is two. So two times e plus two times one times e is two e. So we'll have two e uh, two pi i into four e, so which is nothing but h pi i times e. Or you can write it as h by e and then i. So this is the answer to that problem. Thank you.